Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April. This is for April 2020. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so any reading that you watch of mine doesn't matter what day it has on it. The day that you watch it is, you know, you take that into account, okay? This is for the month of April, but it could resonate at any time. So what do we have for Cancer for April? Page of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune reverse. So something may be coming back around. This is something coming back around. This could be your past coming back to haunt you. Or you coming back to haunt them. Could go either way. This is a message of love. Okay. This is being love struck. Or a secret admirer. Could be somebody from your past. Or vice versa. But this is a message of love. Okay. Um, showing feelings. So somebody is going to be expressing their feelings. Um... Now, the Wheel of Fortune reverse, it's definitely going to be shock. It's, you may be shocked by this. And this may have something to do with your past mistakes or your past coming back to haunt you. Now, I don't know what this is, but um, maybe it's just not a good time. It may not be the right time. Or maybe it wasn't the right time when it happened and now it's coming back around. This is not at the right time. Bad timing. But this is uh, an admirer or something. So let's just see. They came out together, so we're going to put them right here. Page of Cups is a message of love. Feeling happy. It's happy news. It is happy news. But with that Wheel of Fortune reverse, you may not, I don't know, somebody may not want it. I don't know, it could be a setback. It might not be a good time might not be a good time to fall in love or whatever oh yeah yeah so this is definitely I mean you're here right um, you may be like not right now <laughs> it's not a good time this is lack of control lack of discipline emotions all over the place so this is something coming to a stop and this is a horrendous loss usually the Wheel of Fortune in reverse is a shocking, unpredictable, horrendous loss. And this is something coming to a dead stop. Something may have come to a stop. Maybe it was a love affair. Maybe it was a relationship. And now it's coming back around. And it may cause you to be very emotional. Okay? This is feeling scattered. Okay? Um, this is also stuck. So you may be stuck. You could be stuck in a past relationship, unable to move forward. What the hell? Or somebody else could. Let's see. Ooh, I don't know if you're dealing with a Pisces or another Cancer, but something is about to be revealed. You definitely have water here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, you also have Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius with that Wheel of Fortune. Um, but... The moon reverse. There's something that is about to be revealed. Somebody hasn't been expressing their feelings. They've been hiding their feelings. They've been stalling. There's definitely been some stalling here. And something is about to be revealed. It's definitely going to be very, very, very emotional. We have a lot of emotions here in just these cards. So there's something that is going to happen in April that is going to be very emotional to you. You may not be able to hide your emotions or hide your feelings. If you wanted to hide your feelings, I don't think you're going to be able to. Or don't. I don't think you're going to be able to. I think that this is going to be an emotional time where uh, there's going to be an expression of how you feel. Put it that way. Um, the moon reverse. Something is being revealed. Truths are being revealed. Reality check. Somebody is getting a reality check. You know, somebody may have been lying to themselves, deceive, deceiving themselves, trying to hide behind a mask, hide, be, hide behind the shadow, and you can't hide behind it anymore. 
Nine of Pentacles. Now this is somebody that is enjoying the finer things in life. Somebody that is very stable and secure. Has worked very, very hard to obtain su success. This is very self-sufficient and abundant. So there's a lot of abundance here. We have, we have somebody here that is... Uh, very very abundant it, and I just happened to notice the gold is, is it's like they're worth their weight in gold so I don't know who this person is but they're glowing and they're very um, doing quite well and it's clear to see it's clear to see that this person is doing well this person is probably there's, there's that that could be the horrendous loss seeing that this person is doing quite well so we probably have somebody here that has noticed that somebody is doing quite well and now their emotions are all over the place. Ooh, the devil. We could be dealing with a Capricorn. So we get another, or another, we have Pisces here a couple times. Um, but this is somebody there that is refusing to see things from a new perspective, it has a very big ego, maybe trying to punish another person. You know, there's punishment here may have some addictions as well, it's trying to prove a point. So it's like somebody has been trying to prove a point, trying to punish another person, and it's backfired. It's backfired. That is what has happened. Now it's like, now there's some sort of unhealthy situation. There's manipulation, greed, lust, selfishness, ego. Ego, ego, big ego. These are both, either, so somebody's ego has gotten in the way of success. There's a fall from power. There's a fall from grace. Somebody is admitting their defeat. Feeling worn down and overwhelmed. It's like they've sabotaged an opportunity, a golden, a big opportunity, a very fortunate opportunity. They've sabotaged a sabotage because of their ego. Somebody has sabotaged a uh, very abundant opportunity because of ego. Now they've lost their power. They're feeling powerless. There's a lesson to be learned here. There is a lesson to be learned. That is the meaning of this. There's a lesson to be learned. Somebody is learning a life lesson. And it's a hard one. Somebody is learning a hard le lesson. Because now they're experiencing... This is karma. The Wheel of Fortune is a card of karma. They're experiencing a horrendous loss of somebody who is very valuable. This is a very valuable individual. It's like now they see this person's value, but it's like it's too late. They wasted time thinking about it, trying to prove a point, you know, uh, letting their ego get in the way. And now they're feeling powerless. They love this person. They wish they would have expressed their feelings and they, they just don't have the willpower now. They don't have, they can't find the discipline. They're feeling scattered. They're very emotional. So they, we have somebody here that is having a hard time controlling their emotions because uh, they uh, were very stubborn, very egotistical, was trying to prove something. Now it's a like now it's a definitely a horrendous loss. Okay, this is a painful acceptance. This is extremely unstable, unhealthy. Now there could be some addictions here. Uh, there, there's, uh, there could even be an accident, okay, with, with this card and this card. So there, there could be an accident. It could be a car accident. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but there could be, there could be somebody that you know, this is drugs or an addiction or something like that, and things come to a, you know, come to a complete halt. There could be a crash. No, I mean, and it doesn't have to be a, a car crash, but something could happen like that. But this is, and this is punishment. This is some sort of punishment. Somebody pushed somebody away because of their ego. And now it's like their whole life is crumbling around them. This is crumbling.
There's a lot of universe cards here. So that means the universe is, is playing a big part here. Okay, majors are universal cards. It's it's like it's uh, the universe is in charge here. Somebody is 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 seeing that they uh, have made a poor choice or that they're they're experiencing a horrendous loss. Okay, it was definitely unpredictable. This is unpredictable, and this is unpredictable. And it, it is because ego got in the way. This, these are both egos. Ego, somebody's ego drove them in the wrong direction. And now they're experiencing a horrendous loss. And it, and it may have to do with their vehicles or their, even their home. Or, or love. Could be a love. Something that they loved. God. This is good versus evil. And this is the universe. So there is a higher power. There is a higher power involved. That is shining the light. They're shining the light. They are. There's a higher power that is shining the light on a false foundation. A false sense of security. And they're causing it to crumble. So somebody's falseness is being shown. They're losing their power. This per this person right here is protected. This is this is a higher power a teacher or a counselor or a mentor or a God. Five of Wands. This is a card of... Usually it's of competition. Chaos, though. Strong competition. All over the place. Unsettled. There's some sort of unsettled energy here. This person has lots of people competing... This is strong competition for this independent person. This is a card of commitment. This is fear. So somebody was fearful of commitment. Now this is independence versus commitment. Interesting. So this is um, kind of like going back and forth. Okay. This five of wands. Struggling. Somebody is struggling. They are struggling between being independent and being in a commitment. They're struggling. Going back and forth. So yeah, there's somebody here that is going back and forth. You know, whether they want to be in a commitment or they want to be single. Do I want to be single or do I want to be in a commitment? But this is seeing the truth. So the truth is going to come out. The truth is going to come out. There's a false sense of security. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. Definitely been struggling. Struggling with uh, letting anybody in. Struggling with addiction. Struggling with addiction. Now shit is hitting the fan. For sure. Ooh, Ace of Cups. This is this is a new start in love. This could be a reunion or a reconciliation or somebody wants somebody. I feel like we have somebody here that is seeing the truth. They're seeing the truth with the moon. They're seeing the truth. And they're seeing the truth because they've had some sort of loss with the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Something very unfortunate has happened. 
now they see a per this is somebody of value this is the empress in the minor arcana okay so this is somebody of value they're seeing the the value of another person They've been going back and forth, but they probably know this person has a lot. They would have a lot of competition, but their gut is telling them to follow their heart. So this is about heart. This is a, this is a new start in love. So somebody is going to be offered a new start in love. They're going to be expressing their feelings. So somebody is going to be expressing their feelings, Cancer. This this is a but the but the tower reversed is somebody was avoiding they were avoiding giving their heart away they were they were they were avoiding falling in love right but now they're they're admitting their defeat because it's like they realize that they are in love I feel like we have somebody who that has been watching they've been thinking about it. And they're about to communicate. I think in March there's going to be some sort of communication. Uh, this person has been uh, really struggling. Really struggling. Struggling with their ego. But I feel like they get some sort of blow to their ego. This is a blow to their ego. And this blow to their ego, you know... <sighs> Is it has to, I think this blow to their ego is is something big, okay? Because the wheel of fortune reverse is a horrendous loss. Some and it could be a loss of their business or something to do with their home or their vehicles or something like that. And it makes them realize what really matters. What really matters is is love. And look at where I put that. I put that heart right over the hair of font. So I think somebody is going to be getting an offer of love that could lead to commitment. Okay. Um, they go. It's like they go from being single to in a commitment. And I think it happens very suddenly. I do think it happens suddenly. And, and I think it's somebody from the... I honestly, I hate... I know a lot of people don't want to hear this. But the Wheel of Fortune reverse is somebody from the past. Reversed. It is. So, I feel like this month there is a new beginning. Okay, there is a new beginning. I feel like uh, there's going to be some sort of event that happens to the person with a big ego. This event is life-changing. This is a life-changing event for this egotistical individual that makes them realize it does. It makes them realize what their heart wants. So I do feel like this is somebody from the past. I do. If not, it's, I do. I feel like it could be somebody brand new because this could be somebody brand new. Could be. Could be a Taurus. I just happened to notice that. Could be uh, another Cancer, a Pisces. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Pisces again, Capricorn, Scorpio. But there's been a false sense of security here. There's been a false foundation that was... Somebody was trying to build up a false foundation based on false pretenses. Trying to prove a point to the person that they really love. You know, that's what I think this is. And I think there is some sort of horrendous event that changes uh, their perception. So, good luck. <laughs>